Mm, all right. It's 42 out there now and rainy, so that's not too bad, a little bit. It's about uh, 60 in here with my little heater. So uh, bathroom, uh, vanity, closet. So it'll be as deep as the sink is. Let me rotate. All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. There, that's max zoom. So if you can imagine this old ice chest, and it's just so freaking cool. This old ice chest is uh, under vanity storage. This lighting system will be turned this way, but I'll uncurl, I'll hammer out some of the curl, and it will actually go up here as part of the strapping system. So there and there. So this light that I, is, and it's a key distance, but I can adjust a little bit. Now I haven't tried to unhammer any of this <laughs> yet. So I will, I will try to unhammer it before I get too excited about that idea. But worst case scenario is I've come out with a little bracket of some sort or another here and uh, you know, tie it in with that or metal rod or a, so who knows, something, it, worst case scenario. But nonetheless, that is the plan. The doors are 27 apart and they're gonna rest on the front of the cedar post. The cedar post, I'm gonna make a box and it will be 12 inches deep. So I'll have storage that's 12 inches deep behind these. See, they've already got the hinges here and here and blacksmith hinges. So I'm not sure what pin will go in there, but I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. So storage is always a problem inside of a Connex and I really like this solution. So uh, on t going back to this, I'm currently looking for like, um, a restaurant grade ice bucket or stainless steel that can just drop in there. I put a little sink that m roughly measures this dimension, but I'd have to cut a little bit uh, out and uh, not opposed to that. So then once I have that, I'm actually going to uh, pour a concrete sink uh, countertop. So this will be a little concrete countertop that'll ride on top of that. I still want to be able to pull this thing out, I think. Well, maybe not. Thousand year home. I'll, I'll consider how exactly how I'll do that. But uh, of course the light won't be here. It'll be up there. This picture I've actually got years ago from uh, Goodwill. It's uh, somebody varnished it with epoxy or something. Uh, and it's definitely got a southwest vibe, so I'm going to use it as a backsplash behind the sink um, Because yeah, I can wipe it up on there. So and then imagine that that's drywall with a bunch of uh, lights uh, And then I have a couple of round sinks uh, mirrors here to, to hang I'm not quite sure one might go my height uh, Right over the sink. I'm not sure but you notice this is already not built for a little kid. <laughs> this is built for... <laughs> that is built for a six-foot man. I've spent my whole life bending over sinks, sometimes really, really low. I built a house for me. I am not bending. The guest ba bathroom, I'll make sure, has a low sink. And this bathroom has enough room right over here. So the bathtub will be here. And I could put a little another uh, ladies bureau vanity here uh, with a little mirror and everything. And that's, that's, that's maybe what I'll do. This place needs closets. And uh, that fails like I should use that as part. Look at my beard all crazy. That should be part of my uh, master bedroom uh, closet system, in my opinion. So we'll cross that bridge. Now, uh, I know that I could build this thing. I'm short some wood. I'm missing um, four, four by four cedars. I, I'm just out of them. So I'm going to go run by them. I don't want to do that, but I'll go run by them. In addition, I might be running low on some boards and planks. We'll see on that. Uh, I got two by uh, two by two framing. So this will be cedar. I've got some cool things I'm going to do uh, on the bottom of each one of these. Uh, 
and then there'll be shelves in there and then uh, what I'll do is I'll do the roll I'll roll my towels and washcloths and put them inside there because I don't know if 12 inches is enough to stick out once this these are boxed in I've got the boxes built and um, then I can go up and I'll have this ready they'll support the joists over to here so I'll run over to here and then um, I will put even though there's this bathroom light I will put in a bathroom light here and uh, that six by six will be supporting a joist this wall I'll have to build last because I need to be able to move drywall in there and drywall that so um, I'll get that drywalled and then I can build this wall out and get my uh, all my barn doors slash bathroom doors where the tub is sitting right now will be the toilet right there the tub will be back centered here I just need the room to lay things down and cut things and whatnot all right so that's kind of a I don't know they think it's a stopping point I'm gonna look and see if I've got enough lumber if I pirate from here and rob there and build that that I could build one if I could build one of the boxes uh, then that will be uh, good progress today so I've still got another couple hours. It's coming up on Thanksgiving, and I've been invited to a pre-Thanksgiving Thanksgiving. And I'm not going to pass that up. Any I, Listen, it's cold and miserable out here. I've been living out of a cooler, like, the whole time. And uh, so my daughter has got a turkey made way before, a turkey before the turkey. This is the pre-Thanksgiving Thanksgiving, and I always like that. So I am not turning that down. Uh, with time change and everything, I have to be out of here by about 3 today, and it's like 1. So I don't know how far I'll get on that thing. But I'm going to try to box it all in, and if I have it all boxed in, I'll put it back up. And uh, maybe I'll go buy those 4x4s, four uh, that cedar 4x4s four that I need, as well as take one of those hinges with me, or at least take some pictures and see if I can find the a sister pin that will uh, so I can hang the doors and get the little closet set up there. That would be too much fun. So uh, this is Steve, A Thousand Year Home. I want to thank you for watching. Um, I, and all of that good stuff. I don't know, yeah, I'll have time to build. I think I'll have time to build. I'm gonna guess that this is a pre, just like pre-Thanksgiving, this is a pre-like and subscribe because I might have time to actually box one of those in and this video will run long. You always got to look, after I say like and subscribe, you always got to look at the bottom of my timeline and see because uh, some of my uh, uh, pended, uh, little pended, ins are, they're like 20 seconds and some of them are like five more minutes or 10 more minutes of work. So, uh, But I want to thank you for watching so far. How about that? Like, subscribe. It's lonely out here. I'm cold, tired of eating out of a cooler. So I'm going to go eat a Thanksgiving dinner, a pre-pre-Thanksgiving dinner. I'm loving that. All right. Uh, let me get this, uh, this closet built or uh, storage. Vanity storage is what it is. Sink vanity storage. All right. I did a stop motion on that so you guys probably could barely see I don't know if the tub was in the way so what I did is I made the bottom of the cabinet that's the base and uh, it'll be flush up against the sink on this side like that the door will be here and then I'll have a, a three-quarter inch offset here on this side and this side 
just so it looks like it has a, a toe kick, right? A toe kick. I think that'll be okay. So this side and that side will have a little toe kick. This side will be flush all the way. Flush, flush, flush. All right, let's finish. Uh, I'm going to put four, four. Uh, what are they? Four by four by eights. Hope they're all the same, same distance. <laughs> and then I'll uh, I'll use furring strips just to nail the top. So the top, what I'm going to do is, if this was the top right here, I'm going to get uh, two by uh, eight boards which are thick, and I'm gonna bring them out past, so they'll stick out past the door, and I'll run them all the way across both cabinets when I'm done, both cabinets. And that way I'll have both the light and it'll have a board across that will uh, give it strength, and then I'll put some shelf in there that'll be open air shelves, I think. Maybe, I, maybe I'll end up putting doors on it, but, uh, I like that. All right, let me put you on pause. Uh, turn back on the camera while I, I finish building out the uh, the cabinet. So I'm uh, I've got the, everything just uh, Brad nailed in with the uh, what am I using? <clears throat> Two and a half inch sixteens on. Uh, my Roby nailer, but I don't have any uh, four and a half inch screws. <laughs> All I've got left are three and a half, and I want a little more on that uh, cabinet because people hang on cabinets and uh, weight is put on it. People store a mazillion uh, cups in it, and uh, in addition, of course, all of this stuff that I'm doing is all designed like that. To carry a load when I pour concrete on a roof, and I will be pouring aircrete so or uh, perlite, so it won't be that heavy, but it's not that light, and it's certainly heavy while it's filled with water. So, uh, and I'll pu I'll pour it in, you know, four foot panels that'll fit over. I'll skip a panel, then I'll pour the next one, and then I'll go back and screech it. So I'm hoping that I can get all, all of the four foot panel, every other one done in one day. And I'll do that once I have the earth bag on because the uh, rebar will stick up from the earth bag and I'll tie the roof into the uh, rebar of the earth bag and then the earth bag will stay, the roof will stay, the foundation will stay. Uh, and oddly, all of this because of a mere cabinet. <laughs> no, but it, it is part of the whole. Uh, in addition, it looks like uh, there's a bend in it on one side or another, so I'm going to have to get in there and torque on it. And I, I can't torque on it with little brad nails. I'll pull it right out. I see some gapping, and, you know, these they are just put in. But I got a Thanksgiving dinner, pre-Thanksgiving dinner. I go to eat a dinner before everybody else in America. This is Saturday, and I'm going to eat one before Thursday. That's a good deal. That's what I love about the holidays, and then... You know, I tell everybody it's just me all alone out here. Like and subscribe so that I have some friends, company. And then I get extra help and at Thanksgiving. I get everybody invite. I've already been invited once and I didn't have time to attend. So that would have been like th four Thanksgivings for me. Listen, I, I don't know. People are, I'm like old Hank. <laughs> Where's my oats? <laughs> Where's my oats? Everybody's like that. I already fed old Hank. So, uh. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to go do laundry today, and I got some uh, oh, my coffee pot to put in a washer, and I got work to do that's like everyday boring, I got to get it done or else I'd live in my own filth kind of thing. That's hard working out here in the middle of nowhere off grid. I don't want to be so primitive that everybody starts calling me in ugly names, neck beard or whatever, mountain man, I don't know, I don't know, scruffy muffin, who knows. But uh, look, look, I'm getting my cabinets done, and you guys see my vision for that. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, once I get one done, then I and it's right, 
and I'll use those dimensions to make the second one. Then I'll cut the top off. I'll put some boards across. Man, it'll be it'll be beautiful. Built-in cedar vanity for the sink with a good little bit of space. And uh, my little wash. I'm glad that I did that. I've still got those decorative. If everybody, if you've been following me for a while, my initial thought was to use those decorative florals there to hold a bowl up. And I still will probably in the guest bedroom, uh, bathroom. The guest bathroom will be out through the door right here that doesn't exist yet, out into a uh, great hall that doesn't exist yet. I'll have a reciprocal ceiling that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> All right, like, subscribe, this wraps it up. I'm gonna go eat me some turkey, bye.